uh, uh, Chinese medicine has a tradition of using combinations of herbs together in formulations and the complexity and uh, interaction, the, the synergy of these herbs gives rise to a greater uh, effect than individual herbs themselves. Now we're looking today at uh, factors of uh, uh, isolates and it occurred to me that we could use combinations of isolates in the same way that we use combinations of herbs. This formulation, AVAT, which stands for antiviral, antitumoral, uh, I began to use primarily for uh, viral conditions, but then discovered through uh, some of the research, which I will show, how this actually impacts tumors. And these particular uh, isolates, now I've identified through literature search about 60 isolates from Chinese herbs that have very significant uh, anti-tumoral, anti-mystatic qualities. So here we're looking at uh, andrographolide, uh, teraxosterol, and uh, collagenic acid. Uh, these are from standard uh, Chinese uh, uh, herbs. And we know uh, historically, going back to the time of uh, Verkhoff in the 19th century, that uh, inflammation is a key component in initiation, progression, and in metastases. And here we're looking at Chinese herbs that have significant anti-inflammatory capacities, whether it is cell cycle arrest or other factors. Inflammatory cells and cancer cells produce free radicals. And a lot of the factors associated with tumor and tumor progression, as we know, happen in the aged because of free radical damage over periods of time. Andrographolide. Uh, is a main bioactive uh, component of andrographolis, antipyretic, anti-inflammatory. Its uh, properties are due to the stimulation of uh, uh, adrenal cortical hormone releasing factors, ACTH. So it works not only uh, at a cellular level, but also at the HPA access level. Now, one of the factors associated with cancer has to be factors of stress. Now, Stress, whether it is directly uh, causative of cancer or not, it may be related at least by an associative level through the factors of uh, increase of interleukin-1, interleukin-6, and their impact both on uh, uh, the central nervous system, the psyche, and on uh, uh, cellular uh, uh, dysregulation. Uh, here's another study that was looking at uh, the impact of andrographolide on NF-kappa B and uh, its effect on uh, endothelial growth factor. Another study showing its uh, uh, activity on cancer by cell cycle arrest, as I mentioned earlier. There is an immunostimulatory effect on amdrographolide as well. And uh, as we know that uh, many of the herbs have impact on uh, the immune system. Now, that we need to look at in specific fashions because with tumors, it is often a suppression of cellular immunity and an upregulation of the humoral immunity that is uh, associated with tumor progression. And andrographolis, uh, along with such things as uh, astragalus, actually help upregulate cellular immunity. Uh, here's another uh, study on uh, apoptosis and its activization of p53 gene. Uh, teraxosterol. Uh, which is coming from Pu Gongying, is used extensively in China as well as in Ayurvedic medicines, and it is said to be clearing of the toxin. Now, in traditional Chinese medicine, we understand there is a thing called heat toxin, which is associated with tumor progression. That may relate to a lot of the factors associated with the inflammatory cytokines. It is uh, antibacterial, antiviral, immune enhancing. Uh, experiment inhibited colon and breast cancer development acted by various stages in tumor development. Now, uh, clinically, the combination of these things works particularly effectively in at least controlling uh, tumor growth and uh, progression. It has, in, again, like andrographolide, uh, immuno-enhancing uh, properties. Chlorogenic acid is a phenic, uh, natural product isolated from uh, chrysanthemum. 
uh, ester of caffeic acid and so forth like that is an antioxidant, an inhibitor of tumor pr uh, promoting activities. Inhibited uh, proliferation of A5549 human cancer cells in vitro and of some other studies on the effect of its inhibition of tumors. Here's another study that was done on uh, being a functional inhibitor of uh, glucose 6-phosphate translocase. There is a synergism in this and I think that's one of the things that we learn from traditional Chinese medicine is that it is not just the individual herb but the synergism and so looking at these three components, three, three isolates, we're looking for a kind of a shared immunoenhancing and a shared anti-inflammatory, antiviral uh, effect. Inflammation in cancer is again one of the key factors. Cancer is associated with inflammation. Inflammation drives tumor progression, it drives uh, endothelial growth factor, it drives uh, uh, MMPs and, uh, and metastases. Here are some of uh, the studies that we did in this particular thing at uh, uh, Guanam Men Hospital. And we looked at uh, uh, different strains of mice uh, and Kun Men mice, inbred 615 mice. There was a control group that we looked at and we were looking at the high dose of ADAT uh, delivered through, uh, administered through gastrophage and uh, the medium dose as well as a low dose effect. This is the study that has showed the effect on that in eight different concentrations uh, against uh, 5-FU and there is a, a parallel to that although I think the effect that we had in vivo was not as well as expected and I think there are some anomalies that we lo have to look at at that. Uh, here we're looking at uh, gastric cancer and this one was done, this trial was done in uh, vitro and here we had a much more significant effect and uh, it showed uh, pharmacodynamic properties that are demonstrated in both in vivo and vitro and uh, significantly more impact on the in vitro study. More research is required to look at this combination of factors. There are anomalies here which I said and part of those anomalies may be due to the effect of uh, the knockout mice and the impact of uh, uh, inflammation or the inflammatory effect of the tumor microenvironment. That in the in vivo studies marine cancers were tested and therefore it may not be significant in, in terms of the AVAT impact. There were impressive results in the in vitro, uh, which should be and will be followed up in some of the studies that we're doing. There is a heightened specificity for AVAT and humor cancer strains, which needs to be further demonstrated. The conclusion, the in vivo test for our lab showed high, middle and low dose AV didn't show significant inhibitory effects on lung cancer model. It showed certain inhibitory effects in the four stomach carcinoma volume but without good repeatability, the in vitro test showed AVT had significant inhibitory effects on both human lung cancer and gastric cancer. In vivo and in vitro tests showed that AVAT had certain inconsistencies. And that's one of the things that we need to follow up with is to look at those inconsistencies and the anomalies that were then produced uh, by uh, uh, this testing. And again, I think probably it has to do with the uh, knockout mice in fact of that. Any questions? I mean, we're talking as, as it relates to treatment, chemo prevention. How can cancer survivors use these uh, in the context of survivorship? Well, I think that uh, most of the isolates that I've uh, looked at, and uh, as I said, there are probably more than 60 from Chinese herbs, uh, do enhance survivorship. And that most of the studies, and there's a wide variety of studies, both uh, just simple in vitro studies, as well as human trials that have been shown that do actually uh, enhance survivorship. And uh, many of these, or most of these isolates are actually quite non-toxic. For example, simple things like genistein, which have been reviewed 
uh, extensively show, uh, even with uh, ER positive tumors, uh, better survivorship uh, in, and can be used in combination with tamoxifen. Case reports or any other form of documentation uh, for the use in, in human and human patients in the Chinese uh, medicine? Uh, yes, there are a, a number of studies uh, in four isolates, and Graflite has significant amount of studies uh, which can be accessed through, for example, Medline. Uh, uh, Ursolic acid is another isolate which I use clinically quite a lot, uh, butylenic acid. These isolates actually show great promise in terms of treatment, and, and all of them are compatible with chemo and radiotherapy, uh, uh, unlike often uh, the, uh, the whole herb, which may have uh, CYP450 enhancement. So certainly the isolates are, uh, uh, deserve more focus, but yes, there are a number of studies, and again, most of them available on Medline. Are you quite uh, no? Are you quite familiar with the recent um, publication of PHI nine oh six that is Wang Jin Tang? Yes, I have seen that. Yes. So is that also on is isolate or not? Um, no, I think that was on whole herbs. I think it was a combination of four different herbs. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think it was on an isolate, uh, but I think it was, and it was, and, and it has showed great promise. Thank you. Thank you.